Now, with all this being said about franchise champion, Mauricio Suleiman saying in that Vasily Lomachenko position for the position and Lomachenko saying that he did not request the position. At this point, it's neither here nor there. Because like I stated in my last video, is Vasily Lomachenko accepted the position. His team accepted the position. So we're going to pretty much toss that to the side. And we're pretty much going to beam down and focus on who was the primary source of this thing coming into play. And as I sit back and I thought about it, you know, and I compare things and throw it on the wall and see what I come up with. There's only one evidently clear answer. This entire time, we all should have known because it was none other than Bob Arum. Yep, it was him. Guilty as charged. And I'm going to tell you why and why I don't second guess it at all. Because, number one, when you have a promoter that makes comments like these, you know, that believe in this stuff right here, and I'm not saying that this stuff does not have anything to play in boxing. I'm well aware it does. And keep in mind, Bob Arum has been promoting a long time. You know, he's familiar with the game, what generates revenue and whatnot. Okay. So once you have a promoter that believes that, you know, or his main concern is a certain demographic out of boxing, then it's a no brainer to know that the one fighter that is of European descent, he's going to protect at all costs. Another reason why I say that is because is known for protecting his fighters, just like he's known for protecting Manny Pacquiao from Terrence Crawford. You know, like he's known for that, but he's very selective on who he chooses to provide protection for. You know what I'm saying? He has been promoted since Muhammad Ali's days. I mean, he did promote Muhammad Ali, you know? So he's been around promoting that long. So it's nothing new for Bob Aaron, especially with comments like these, you know, to want to protect what he would view as his golden fighter, because as it would seem, He's more concerned about the white audience of boxing than the Mexican, the Puerto Rican, the black, the Haitian, the anybody else. He's obviously just concerned with that. OK, so with a person leaving comments like that and who believes in a theory and basically it's not even philosophy, it's his way of life, you know, promoting and everything. With somebody who thinks like that, it's a no-brainer that he was the one that wanted this to happen. Because one thing for sure, people don't want to believe it or not, but if you think Devin Haney cannot pickle Lomachenko, um, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you've seen him have difficulty with Pedraza, you know, which Tank laid out. You've seen him have difficulty with Luke Campbell, which most people thought was a good fight, but he would blow right through him. Then, since Luke Campbell and Devin Haney have the same height, arm length, and elements, and uh, Devin Haney's a little bit more aggressive, and I think of right now, Devin Haney being a better boxer, if not right now, than Luke Campbell. Once again, that's my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. You know what I'm saying? It's not necessary for you to agree with it. But with that being said, you can understand why Bob Aaron would want to keep somebody like Devin Haney away from Vasily Lomachenko. Number one, he doesn't want his, what he would view as his golden child or his most important boxer to him in his eyes, lose to a black fighter. Cause that'd be bad for business. The same reason why he didn't want Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao fight. Now this is where it comes in to Lomachenko, all right? Now, I have no doubt that Lomachenko is game, that, you know, he has heart, that he can fight, and all that. But one thing that I do know, we all know that these fighters do not pick their fights. But when Bob Arum himself was extremely interested in making a Manny Pacquiao-Lomachenko fight, okay, and he consistently brought that up, 
Lomachenko has consistently said, me, my father, my team, we do not want this fight. So that shows a promoter can be interested in a fight while a fighter does not want to take the fight and the fight won't happen unless the boxer, the team, the father, and everybody agree with it because Bob Arum wanted to make the fight with Pacquiao and Lomachenko, but his team said no. Notice that fight didn't happen. Now he'll put them two together, but when it comes to Terrence Crawford and Manny Pacquiao, he's concerned with Manny Pacquiao's health and all this other thing. But he will put Manny Pacquiao versus a Vasily Lomachenko together. See, because Vasily Lomachenko can stand to lose to a Pacquiao and Pacquiao can stand to lose to a Vasily Lomachenko. Because for those that caught the video, as I said before, because it's part of the plan. You have to understand how boxing works. Now, with that being said, that also means that they would have to openly and willingly accept franchise champion. You know what I'm saying? Bob Arum didn't have to twist his wrist, meaning if he really didn't want it, if he really didn't want it, he wouldn't take it. And like Lomachenko said, it's been his dream since a kid to have that green belt. So with that being said, at this point, whether Mauricio Suleiman or Lomachenko is lying is irrelevant because the designation, not the title, not the championship, has already been accepted. And if he really didn't want it, he wouldn't accept it just like he kept kicking down the Manny Pacquiao fight. But the culprit at play to all this is Bob Arum. Nobody else. So I have no doubt that Bob Arum went to Mauricio Suleiman and... Went and got this done. It could have been behind Lomachenko's team back or whatever the point is. Once it was presented, then, you know, um, they took it. And this is the crazy thing about um, Franchise Champion. In Lomachenko's video on his channel, he lets you know that if he becomes undisputed or whatever, becomes the ultimate title holder, his financial situation does not change. Okay? He has a set he has a set salary no matter what. That also means with franchise champion, he has a set salary no matter what. So what is the purpose of franchise champ? What is the benefit for the boxer? The benefit of franchise champion is just like Mauricio Suleiman said. It's the ability to go up and down in weight and make big fights without having to worry about mandatories. Do I need to say that again? If you don't believe me, go watch the video. So since it's not a pay upgrade, whether he becomes full champion or, um, I mean, you know, whether he becomes undisputed champion or whether he becomes franchise champion, there's no pay difference. The only privilege to be a franchise champion is the ability to turn down and not have to fight mandatories to make sure little fights. And this is uh, Mauricio Suleiman's exact words. Make sure little fights don't get in the way of big fights so the big fights can be made. So the only reason why you would accept franchise champion is to not have to be obligated to fight your mandatories. That's what it is. It's plain, cut, and simple. I can't, you can't argue about it. You can't go up and down because Mauricio Suleiman is on camera. He tells you the exact definition and the criteria of it. He tells you it's not a title. He tells you it's not a championship. It's just a designation. There's no belt involved whatsoever. You know, and the only benefit, and Lomachenko told you on his channel, that there's no financial incentive for him unifying, there's no financial incentive to franchise champion other than to not have to be bothered with mandatories so they can make big fights. And I think at this point, it really doesn't get no clearer than that. I really think I touched all bases on this whole franchise champion. So it doesn't matter if you want to blame Mauricio Suleiman. It doesn't matter if you want to blame Vasily Lomachenko. And it doesn't matter if you want to blame Bob M. The point is they all have to be in sequence for the shit to work in the first place. 
And that's all that matters at the end of the day. If you didn't want it, kick it down. That's And if it was important that to you, and if that's been a dream since a kid to get that green belt, I do not see why you gave it up so easily and so quickly. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Bruce Vane, I'm out.